Okay, because it has trans, it, because it has uh, taps, right? So we're we're basically going to be doing opposite direction, um, opposite direction buzzsaw with tap backs. I'll I'll move away from the camera, but because it's tapping your body, there might be a transfer, particularly if you did it early in your set. So uh, I I would also wait for a build, because um, yeah, you you know how crowds are, and you know how muggles are, and they're muggles. So uh, we want to we want to give them the wow factor. So uh, starting from an underhand butterfly doing like a lockout, doing a choke, right, so that you shorten the poi. And then you can come to whichever side is easier. You're left-handed, okay, great. Then maybe moving to the right side will be easier for you where you come across the bottom and then you're in the opposite direction buzzsaw here, right? And then what you would do is a butt tap. So, you know, obviously be careful you aim far enough back when you go under your legs or else you'll have other issues that you won't like me very much for. Um, and then this, sh this should be in same time at this point to do both of them because you're going to tap on the back and then the butt and then come into the opposite direction and then back and butt and opposite direction. So you do it an even number of times starting from where you started from. You can exit back out just continuing what you did with the left hand. The way I'm doing the choke, if you're struggling at all with the choke, is I'm sticking my fingers out. You could do any number of fingers. So however many fingers you need, we, we choke it to the appropriate length and then so as a left-handed person turning to the right i think makes sense so you just keep the right one there the left one comes across the bottom and then to the inside plane so if you saw it side view it's like this across the bottom to the inside plane like that and then i'm in same time and then from here what i do is as the hand so as this hand is coming across well i'll show you side view as this hand is coming across, I rotate 90 degrees, but then I step so that I'm side by side with my legs so that my legs are open. And then that way you, you're doing it all in one motion. Right, so in theory, you'd be like this in the V stance here, right? So both feet would be facing this way. And then as you come across, you plant on your right leg. Planting on the right leg. You come across and your legs come open. So if I showed you side view, I'm planting on the leg closer to you, come across, and then I'm open, and then I'm just set up to do the tap back from there. I would recommend, if you can, try and do it on fire once before your show, if you can. It might make you feel better, but uh, if you have your hoodie up, if you have your hoodie up, I don't really think there's any danger. So let's do the left hand, which is starting in underhand, short poi, inside plank, right? So we're gonna go back and then butt. And then back, circle, butt, circle. So it's buzzsaw to the back, buzzsaw to the butt. Buzzsaw to the back, buzzsaw to the butt. Buzzsaw to the back. And you have to remember, you can't really reach down or you can't really like lean down like this because you still have the other hand going. So maybe a squat is better because the, because the other hand is going to be going up, right? So a squat will allow you to reach both places at the same time. To remember, your other hand is going to be doing that. Or... Or you can totally make yourself crooked like this. Slightly exaggerated as a stylistic thing, I would do it like this, where I'm reaching here on the one side, then reaching here. Right, or so if you looked at a side view, it would be so that you can reach with the hand that's going down low. Whatever's easiest. When you're putting the whole sequence together, so you're in the underhand butterfly, you separate, you choke, you turn pivoting on your right leg, and then you have to do an even number of tap backs, right? So two or four or six or eight, right? However many, so that you can stay planted on the right foot, come back out and exit exactly the same way you came in, only uh, over the top instead of across the bottom. I'm in my V stance, I'm in my butterfly, separate, choke, turn and pivot, tap back, that's twice, that's four times, I'm gonna do six, and then come back, release into my underhand butterfly. I want it as a front view to see what they'd actually be seeing. <laughs> Wrap, turn, one, two, three, four, five, six, turn, and, and I actually released as I was coming out of it. So I was here, I released as I was coming over the top, but you can go into the lockout first if you need. 